You may have seen some of my M1 Mac gaming videos already on this channel, and in all of those videos, I've only managed to get a 60Hz refresh rate on the monitors I was using, which included an ASUS 144Hz gaming monitor. Some of you might even just prefer a higher refresh rate, not for gaming, but just for normal office work or web browsing as well. So after doing a bit of research online, I've discovered that the M1 Mac does in fact support refresh rates over 144 Hz, but you need a specific cable and connection. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, what type of cable you will need, and any kind of limitations you might run into. First things first, you're going to need a proper monitor. It doesn't have to be a gaming version, but it does need to have a high refresh rate. Now this monitor I'm using is about four years old now, but it supports up to 144 Hertz. And the other thing is that you need to actually have a need for a refresh rate above 60 Hertz. If you play games like Fortnite or Counter-Strike Go, and you can consistently get above 60 frames per second on these games, that is a good reason. By the way, you definitely can get above 60 FPS on these games, just see my other videos. You will also need a USB-C to DisplayPort cable. When shopping for one, make sure it is a DisplayPort version 1.4 and supports a maximum output of up to 4K at 60Hz. This means that at 1440p, you will also be able to achieve 144Hz, and I will link a cable that is compatible in the description of this video, just to make it easy for you. Now you can try a USB-C to DisplayPort adapter instead of a dedicated cable, but some people online have reported some potential issues with this, as it's technically not a direct connection. So my recommendation is just to spend 25 or 30 bucks on a dedicated compatible cable to save yourself any headache. Now, if you're using an M1 Mac mini instead, you can actually use a HDMI 2.0 cable directly from the mini to your monitor to achieve the same result. Again, I'll have a compatible cable for this linked in the description. So without further ado, let's jump into the Created Labs testing studio and I'll show you how it works. Okay guys, so here we have the setup. Now, as I mentioned before, I do have a 144 Hertz Asus gaming monitor. So this is 27 inch. It's an IPS display and also one millisecond refresh. I've also got the 2020 M1 MacBook Air, just the base model here, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. In terms of accessories, I've actually got this really cool mechanical Razer keyboard here. If you guys are interested in me doing a review on this, I will soon. Uh, it's sort of a very no frills, no fuss keyboard. Works very good. Sounds nice as well. Uh, and it actually completely detaches from the cable. It is a USB-C cable. And as you can see here, if I literally just plug the other end of this USB-C cable into the Mac Air, so you can see there it's plugged in. Um, this actually works really, really well, as you can see there. Anyway, that's on the topic of this video. As you can see here, I have the cable I was mentioning before. So it's just a USB-C to display port. So what I'll do first of all is I'll plug it into the monitor and then into the Mac and we'll get this test started. Okay, so I've plugged it into the monitor. Now let's plug it into the USB-C port on the Mac mini. And as you can see there, loads up fine without any issues. And first things first, let's see if this thing is actually coming up as 1440p and also 144 hertz. So we'll come up into the Apple logo, system preferences, and we'll go displays. And as you can see here, we've got 2560 by 1440p. Uh, we've also got the full 144 hertz refresh rate. So that's working perfectly. Now, what does that look like? Well, you may not be able to see it on this particular camera because I'm only able to record in 25 frames per second on this camera the way I have it set up. Um, but looking at this in real life, it's very, very smooth. There's not really any screen tearing. It looks a lot better than 60 Hertz. So what we'll do is we'll do actually a proper test. So I'm just gonna load up a relatively resource friendly game and that is going to be Fortnite. A few of you guys have seen some of my previous Fortnite videos so I thought it'd be a good game just to test. So let's load this up, we'll get into the settings and then we'll see what kind of FPS and also experience we can have with a 144Hz 
gaming monitor, gaming on an M1 MacBook Air. All right, so now we're on the menu screen. So let's just go into Battle Royale. Now, a few people have asked me how I'm able to play Fortnite, and this is an older season. I don't really play Fortnite, obviously, at all. So I don't know a whole lot about it, but I've been reading into it and this is just an older season. So don't pay too much attention to it. Apple and Fortnite have had a big fight and uh, it's just a bit of a mess. So anyway, let's go into the settings here and let's make sure we're at 1440p. We'll set the frame rate to unlimited. Uh, everything else here, I'm actually just gonna set everything to low. Uh, except 3D resolution, I'm gonna leave that 100%. Uh, just because I wanna maximize the FPS just to see what the experience is like. Um, I might actually crank this down to 1080p, but we'll see how it goes at 1440p. So let's apply that. We'll go back and we'll just get into a solo game. Okay guys, so we are now on the ground. Uh, we're not quite getting past 60 FPS. Well, I mean, we're, we are at 60 FPS. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go into the settings and I'm just gonna change this to 1080p just so we can maximize the FPS. Okay, so as you can see in the top right hand corner, we are pretty much bang on 100 FPS. Uh, we're actually getting a little bit above that. And if I run around and kind of do some jumping and some quick movements, it is definitely more than 60 FPS. Like I can see a huge difference um, compared to what I was doing before. Now you will obviously notice some of the artifacting there. And again, guys, this game is not optimized at all for the M1. Um, so you will see a little bit of glitching here and there, but the actual gameplay is totally fine. Uh, I can run around, I can jump, I can do this and that. The frames will sometimes drop down to around 60. Um, but right now, as you can see, I'm at about 60 to 70 FPS. And if I come back over here, I'll be back up to 100. Uh, and it's very, very smooth. So the definitely, you definitely can tell the difference between 60 FPS and a 100 FPS right now on the M1, which is pretty cool because again, this is only about two and a half months old. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Again, just a really quick one, just to show you that yes, you can get a 144 hertz refresh rate from your M1 devices. You do just need to be using the correct cable and you can still play games or do productivity tasks or web browse and get that really nice buttery smooth 144 hertz refresh rate on a particular monitor from the M1. Apart from that, thank you guys for watching. Again, any comments or questions, check out the comment section down below. The link to the appropriate cables are in the description and I'll catch you guys in the next one.